In this video, we're going to take a look at autoplay in GarageBand, a cool way to create some unique sounds in your GarageBand projects. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live today. Yes, autoplay in GarageBand. It looks pretty simple, but it's actually super powerful. So let's dive in and find out exactly what it can do. Here we are in a brand new GarageBand project. I'm going to go to keyboard. I'm going to tap on the more sounds button and I'm going to tap on the keyboards and go to the classic rock organ. You can choose any one of these and they'll all have autoplay options, but I kind of love the classic rock organ. Now we can play it just using the keyboard below, or we can use autoplay. To enable autoplay, we need to tap on this button over here on the right. This is the chord strip view from here. We can play our chords in different inversions. And with the bass notes enabled or not, depending on our preference. But check out this, we've got this autoplay option here. And if we just drag this around to number one, look what happens. We've got two different sections here. We've got our top section. If we tap on the C here, it's gonna play a very groovy, trebly sounding autoplay section. If we tap on the bottom, we're going to get a very groovy bass sounding. If we tap them both together, that one and that one. And tap again to turn them off. So very cool, right? But look, we've got one, two, three, four variations. So what if we want to go to something different and maybe play in a different chord? Well, let's go to number two. And this time, let's tap on this B flat. Pretty darn cool, yeah? How do we record in some autoplay? Well, let's just hit the record button here and hit the C. Move it to a G. Back to an F. And back to a C. Hit the stop button, we're golden. That's pretty cool, but I think we need some other sounds to complement this. Let's tap on the plus button here. We're in the keyboard instrument, we're gonna tap more sounds. Let's scroll down over here on the left, and this time go to the other instruments, and why don't we grab some bass? Yeah, believe it or not, your bass sounds are right here in the other instruments in your keyboard as well. Let's go with uh, the Liverpool sound, because I like a bit of Liverpool. That was the worst accent ever. If we just play. We can play the Liverpool bass or, again, chord strips and then autoplay. Now, this time, I'm going to show you something cool because if we tap with one finger, say, on the C here, it's a little bit of pole. Or if we tap with two fingers on the C here, we get something a bit more funky. What if we tap with three fingers on the C here? Yeah, now we got something cool. So we can combine the one, two, three, and four here with the number of fingers. What if we go, should we try it? Autoplay four with three fingers. <gasps> this could open up the space time continuum. Let's try it. Won't you take me to a funky town? Let's see if this works with this, this uh, audio we've already recorded. Let's hit record. And on the C with three fingers. Over to the G, over to the F, back to the C. I'm pretty happy with that. What's that? You want to use some more instruments? Well, so do I. So let's hit the plus button here. And this time, instead of a keyboard, let's scroll across because guess what? You can use autoplay with your strings, your bass, your guitar, and even your world instruments. Let's show you how. Have you ever wondered what an Erhu would sound like in a jam like this? I sure as heck have. Let's hit the Erhu button here and we can play. We can play the notes on the Erhu or we can hit the chords mode here and now. We can play chords, or guess what? We can use autoplay. Now, I wanted to show you this because some of your instruments won't benefit from the one, two, three finger, including some of these world instruments. So if we tap with one finger, or two fingers, 
they're going to play the same thing. So not every instrument has that one, two, three. Most of your pianos and organs and keyboard sounds do. Some of these ones don't. But let's try this out. Let's hit record and see what an Erhu sounds like with this song. Let's do it. Is that the worst thing you've ever heard? No. What's that? One more time with feeling. Let's do it. Let's scroll down and hit the plus button here. What about a guitar? Let's get a guitar rocking in this one because it's not just all about the, you know, the pad sounds and the keyboard sounds. Let's hit the more sounds on the guitar sounds. And let's go with some retro wah, some retro wah sound here. Now, again, you can be in your notes mode. Or you can be in your chords mode by tapping just here and autoplay is available again. Now this one, one finger, two fingers, three fingers. So we have different sounds here. I'm going to go with this number one and the three finger sound with this retro wah guitar. Let's hit record and tap it in. Now, did I just show you these to show you what kind of doesn't necessarily work together? Maybe a little bit, but how cool is that? Can you see what we can do with this stuff? And here's the key point that I want you to take away. We can add to this. So you don't just have to use the autoplay. If you want to add in your own custom sounds, you can do that over the top. And to do that, let's hit the plus button here. Let's dial in an instrument. Why don't we go back to our keyboard sound, hit the other, the more sound and the other, and grab something interesting. What about a bassoon? Yeah? Yeah. Let's play in a little bassoon part here that we can play over the top of these autoplay instruments. What have we created? All right, some of these things are not like the others, so let's mute out our Urhu and our guitar because I think that with just our organ, our bass, and this bassoon that we've dialed in, we've got something pretty special. that you want an expert tip well okay because if you have been using GarageBand for a while you know that we can not only add in the default instruments here we can add in external sounds as well yes I show this in other videos they're linked down in the description let's go to audio unit extensions and let's grab the Ravenscroft 275 this is one of my favorite piano sounds but we don't have autoplay for the Ravenscroft how do we how do we use this for autoplay? Well, guess what? We can move our autoplay from another instrument into this one. Let's show you how we do that now. So let's assume we want to use this Ravenscroft, but we don't have the ability to play an autoplay on this particular piano. Well, what do we do? We grab the regular piano, play it in there, and then move it. Let's show you how. Let's hit the plus button here. We're going to scroll across again, scroll all the way across back to keyboard sounds, hit the more sounds here. Let's scroll up to keyboards and let's find there's so many different keyboards here let's find this classical grand and this is our amazing classical grand sound we're going to tap on the chords mode here we're going to turn on the autoplay let's go with the autoplay number one we're going to tap we're going to tap both of these ones and play this in on the piano so let's hit the record button tap the c's Now, 
just to show you what we're doing here, we're going to mute out all the other instruments. So let's tap on the track view here. We're going to mute out everything else that we have here. So here is our classical ground. We came in a little bit late there. So... We could redo that if we want to. I don't want to. But what if we want to use this on the Raven's Cross sound? Well, no problem. We just grab this and drag it on up because it's MIDI. So now we can use our external instruments and use the autoplay from the regular GarageBand piano. Let's take a listen. Pretty spectacular. What's that? You want to move it to another instrument? No problem. Let's hit the plus button here. We'll add another external instrument, shall we? We'll scroll all the way over here. Audio unit extensions. Why don't we grab the Hillman from Clevgrand? A very cool instrument sound. This time we'll grab it and drag it down onto the Hillman. What's it going to sound like on this sucker? the church of studio live today how good there you have it everything you need to know about using the autoplay feature here in GarageBand for ios use it play with it have fun with it create record and release your best music here in GarageBand ios more videos in the description and i'll see you next time